Every breaking hour and then more would break and the courage could be summoned to bring about some change. We should definitely say something about the design of the album. It's so beautiful. Isn't it beautiful, yeah. Who did that? Nathan Patterson from down near where I grew up. Stone cold sober with whiskey on my breath. South America running through my head. My dad had a great taste in music. Like he listened a lot to Dylan, Neil Young, Marion Faithful. was Dutch. My grandfather. He did not learn any Dutch. No, he didn't he didn't teach anyone anything. So he, yeah. he came from Holland in 51, I think yeah. it was, yeah. to Australia. Yeah. But did you never feel the urge of learning the language for sure? No, I never sure. asked him. No, no one ever asked him. No. Wow. Will they build it? It's an old uh, old tree oh, audio. Yeah. Wow. It's an old RCA from uh, Wow. And this is what we do here all day. We sit by the river with a cup of tea. Watch the movement of the tide in the gentle breeze. Pelican drifting slowly, looking for a fee. Like Mr. Percival to Stormboy, you to me. Cook a bar of calls. Lucky knows and I call. Am I hearing that console? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Yeah. Can we take that with us? <laughs> Did you know that your album was pressed over here in this plant? Oh, was it? Yes. That's cool. For the rest of the world. Yeah, wow. For even Australia? Yeah. Really? Yeah. For the world. Wow. Oh. And um, it's in this box. We should definitely say something about the design of the album. It's so beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Who did that? A guy called Nathan Patterson, um, who's an amazing artist uh, from down near where I, I um, grew up. Uh, and he's incredible. This album, Jan Jack Moon, did it start with this drawing with the design? No, nah, that came later. Um, I'm a huge fan of Nathan's art and I talked to him about using his art for an album cover and he's, he does a lot of different stuff. And then as the album took shape, I chose an image that seemed to fit, you know. Rest your weary head here on my 
this is home Are you happy with this tour? Yeah, it's been beautiful. Um, it's good to get our little family together again. You know, we've got a great little road team and it's nice to get out in the world again after COVID. It's been a tough time, you know, for people. Um, it's nice to share that, share music and see people in um, a situation where everyone's together again and there's families and there's kids and there's friends and, you know, everyone's together and celebrating music. I think it's really important. I feel almost a bit of a responsibility to to be playing music at this time because I think people need it. Yeah. What does it mean, responsibility? I don't know, just, you know, music is medicinal. You know, we've been using music and to get through struggles and to connect as human beings since the beginning of time. Um, and I think this is just another example where, you know, I've been given this gift of of music and this opportunity to share it and you know people um use my music in a lot of heavy situations you know and people share that with me you know whether it's funerals or getting through a mental health yeah. challenges and things so i guess in some ways you know it's it's my responsibility to offer that to people You don't have these delay patches, eh, Aaron? So I'll just move oh, you. Isn't it strange yeah, that a song of yours is on the hit list of funerals? Follow the sun? Yeah, yeah. And it's such a simple song, you know, like it was sort of like a nursery rhyme or, a, like, you know, I wasn't even going to put it on <clears throat> on the record when I made it. I, I, um, It was a homecoming song. For me, I just sort of got home from America or from Canada at the time and I was so happy to be home and I sat on the side of a, of a creek. I was watching some fish in the water and I wrote that song, Follow the Sun. You guys are good? Okay. I remember a few years ago and it was climbing up the charts here in Holland all the other songs around it were like these big productions of like Justin Bieber and Adele and my manager was showing me as it was climbing up and then I remember laughing because it probably cost me about, I don't know, 500 bucks to make that song. <laughs>
direction of the birds, direction of love. So it might be interesting to gather a few records and see what you like, what you don't like. John Mayer, amazing. Why is he amazing? Why well, he's just he's just such an amazing guitar player. In terms of electric guitarists, other than Jimi Hendrix, my favourite guitarist would be Mark Knopfler. Just beautiful tone, always um, such a nice tone, and I feel like John Mayer is sort of similar, you know. Ben Harper? Your good friend Ben Harper. Yeah. I knew a girl. Her name was Truth. I reckon I was probably about 13 or 14, and I remember my brother came home with his first album. It might have been tape back then or CD, I can't remember. He didn't like it, and he gave it to me, and I was a huge slide guitar fan. So, yeah, I. Um, that's when I first heard Ben Harper, and, you know, it was stoked by his sound and then I've been fortunate enough to do shows and get to know Ben over the years as well and he's amazing yeah. nothing's ever the same you know he goes so many different places he's a really amazing artist Ben Say. This guy's unbelievable. What was it you wanted? Tell me again so I know. I think he's just one of those great prophets, poets, you know, like we all know why Bob Dylan is just incredible. I've seen him a few times too. It's pretty much a blues show, um, which is cool. I really liked it. I mean, people complain, I think, because he doesn't play any of, the, of his old hits and things, but. I thought it was great. We had a great band. Did you have Bob Dylan in mind when you wrote uh, We Deserve to Dream? Nah. No? Nah. It's interesting. I don't know, like, I grew up listening to so much different music. I think my dad, my dad had a great taste in music. Like, he listened to lots of Dylan, Neil Young, Marion Faithful, um, more eclectic <laughs> sort of stuff <laughs> um, and for the times. Deep Purple, Hendrix, like, you know, a bit more alternative. Um, and 
I think probably everything I've ever heard and seen live and all the rest lies in, in my music somewhere. Whisper in the wind, send me home. I'd believe there was something more. Learned so much, fell in love with you. Took my chances with what I knew. With the places that had stained my hands. And the files that I'd stored on my shelf. Spent so long in the world giving chase. Thought my place was some other place But I belong here, I belong with you And all of our questions belong here too We've been high, darling, we've been low And all of it's helped us grow We belong here and we deserve to dream
Sounds like good in these cans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think sounds good.